There is no more popular site in Manhattan Beach than its stately pier, and no photographer is more associated with it than John Post. Yeah, as it turns out this year, the Manhattan Beach Pier is 100 years old. I personally have been photographing the pier for 50 years. My first photograph of the pier I shot in 1969. And the pier has been the backdrop of the community, of course, and my story of my photography. He's putting together an anniversary book of his favorite Manhattan Beach Pier images that he's taken through the years. This book, if you love the Manhattan Beach Pier, this book is for you. Every image in the book has the Manhattan Beach Pier in it. Somebody asked me a few years ago, well, how do I shoot the pier all the time? I told them, every time I come down to shoot a picture of the pier, I see it as I, as in a whole new light. It's like I see the pier for the first time each time. What camera are you using generally? Right now I shoot a, shoot a little digital camera. It's a little Nikon. A little Nikon, okay. And so uh, that is my go-to camera. Now I shoot 90% or 99% of my pictures with this. And for people watching who want to get a great shot of the pier, what do you recommend to them? Left side, right side, underneath, what do you like? You know, I tend to shoot mostly from the south side. Is this south? This is the south side. Okay. And why? Uh, the light is on the south side more. It's a, it's a whole different look, okay. a different feel. Post has a gallery in downtown Manhattan Beach where he's been selling prints of the area for decades. A good artist never needs more than an acre of land in a lifetime to never run out of good subject matter and good art. And I thought about that for years. And then I said, you know, I'm going to make this little area of Manhattan Beach and the South Bay my little acre of land. And so over the 50 years, I've cultivated this little acre of land into an orchard of images. Thank you, John Post.